Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel, Silos Fishing. So today I have a video for you guys. Um, I wanna tell you guys a little bit of the backstory of why I'm making this video. So a couple of, I wanna say like two weeks ago, me and Loki Angler went out to a brand new lake we were fishing. I was pedaling my kayak and I ran into a log that was submerged underwater and uh, the propeller on my uh, PDL drive, like one of the sides just completely snapped off. I'll actually throw in a clip right here. And so you guys will see exactly um, what it looked like when I popped it out of my, um, where it was sitting, you know, I unlocked it. I popped the PDL out of the kayak. And then I noticed that it was completely snapped on one side. Um, what first led me to think something was wrong was right after I hit the log, uh, I was still pedaling along and I felt like a less of a resistance when I would pedal. The kayak still performed fairly well. It still pedaled me out of the lake with ease, but, um, we obviously need to replace this propeller. So I am going to give you guys a little rundown of what you will be needing here shortly. So. Let's get right into this video, guys. Replacing the propeller on my PDL. So we're gonna drive. go ahead and get started here. Basically, what you're going to need first is obviously, I'm using here a ratchet wrench here and uh, a 9 16th socket is what I'm using here, basically. Um, you can also just get a regular, just a regular wrench or an adjustable wrench, whatever uh, you see fit for your for what you're gonna be doing. I believe Old Town also sells a actual tool um, for working on the PDL drive and the kayak itself. So I'll post a picture of it right here. And basically, this is what my PDL drive looks like right now. So obviously I'm only showing you the bottom half. Uh, so while I was out there, I was pedaling it around. I believe what happened was when I came across that log that was submerged, my propeller was sitting like this and it clipped one of these uh, fins off here. But basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to take your socket here, you're gonna press it on here, you're gonna hold on to the fin itself and it should just come right out. So like this nut here is orange. There's also, uh, you could use a metal one with the washer, whatever. I know that in the replacement kit that Old Town sends out. When you buy your kayak, you'll have a set of washers, one nut, and there's a little small shear pin in here that you guys will be able to see. There's a shear pin in here too, and if that pin starts getting Rust it out, you obviously want to swap it out with a new one, so that's why they give you that one. This kit here has an extra washer and extra nut. That's just because I threw it in there, and it has this extra Allen wrench in there because I put it in there myself. Um, but basically, once you take this nut off here, which is this orange one here, you're going to just hold down here, and you're going to just wiggle it off, and it should pop right out, just like that, guys. So now that it's out, this is the old one, broken. You could obviously order these online. Um, and here's my replacement one got both pins on there now this pin right here if you can see it this is the shear pin I was telling you guys about that you will see I'm moving it around basically that's the one that I have extra right there that one there uh, if this one was to get rusted or real bad I would just pop this one out pop the new one in there with a little bit of grease and we should be fine but obviously you can see in here there's no corrosion it looks nice and clean um, and this is basically what the bottom of the propeller will look like. This line here, that shear pin here, sits right in there. So first of all, you want to get this little shear pin nice and centered like that. And uh, then we're going to kind of line it up. It's nice and straight right there. And you want to press it down. There you go, right into place. So it basically set in place right there. And then you want to start off your nut right here with your hand or however you wish to do it. 
Now this nut here I have is like a plastic one. So obviously I don't want to over tighten, but basically tighten it down with your hand. And then just, you know, you just want to snug it up. You don't want to go too crazy. Right there. That's perfectly fine right there, guys. I don't need to know, you don't need to go too tight or anything like that. The last thing you want to do is mess up, mess something up with the threads. Make sure you're not cross-threading anything. But um, that's basically how you would replace this propeller. See, now it's pretty much good right there. There you go. Spinning freely. Everything's good. You can also grab your paddle, your pedal, and kind of move it around a little bit. And that basically will show you everything's working fine. Give it a little jimmy around, and uh, you should be good. So, that is an easy replacement of the propeller, guys. It is a pain in the butt. Quite honestly, I am going to be ordering another one here real soon. Um, that way I could just throw in my kayak just in case while I'm out there. If this propeller decides to crack like that again or break one ear off or for some reason just falls out or whatever. Um, I'll have that replacement with me on the kayak and that way if I'm super far out or on a bigger lake, I don't have to paddle all the way back with the hand paddle. So I'll be able to replace that. Obviously when you're doing a replacement of one of these out on the water, you wanna make sure that you are holding on to the nut as soon as you take it off. You don't wanna be losing anything, making sure the shear pin isn't gonna fall into the water. You obviously don't want to lose it, so probably the best idea would be bank off somewhere and then pull this PDL drive completely out of your kayak. And at that point, go ahead and replace that. Put it back in your kayak once it's replaced and get on your way. So that's pretty much what's going on with this uh, PDL drive. Alrighty, guys. So welcome back. I hope you liked uh that little quick little video on how to replace the propeller on the Old Town PDL drive. Uh, it's not really that hard of a replacement, but obviously it needs to get done. Um, you don't wanna be riding around with the broken propeller the whole time. But anyways, I got a little announcement to make to you guys. Uh, last Saturday, I dropped a video on a review on a Garmin Striker 4CV. Now that Garmin right there is going to be totally free. So if you haven't seen that video and you're watching this replacement video here and you happen to catch this announcement here, I'm gonna link that video down below. The thumbnail looks something like this right here. You're gonna click on that video, watch it. In that video, I have the requirements of what you need to do in order to uh, enter a chance to win that uh, Garmin unit. Now that Garmin unit is gonna be completely free. You're not going to be paying for shipping or anything. That's all going to be paid for by me. I will also be providing a tracking number. If you are under the age of 18, don't worry. You can still enter down below. Uh, you can still enter as long as you uh, meet the requirements of that video. The only thing I will ask for is that the person claiming the price for you or the person claiming the Garmin unit for you uh, is at least 18 years of age and older. That way we can, you know, contact them or have them contact me and I will be gladly to ship that Garmin unit to them so that you can enjoy it if you win it and you're under 18. Now in that video, there's another giveaway also. It's basically, uh, as my friend Loki Angler would say, complete package deal with nothing but soft plastics and a couple different lures that, I, that I've used in the past that have helped my channel grow immensely. So basically, uh, two weeks ago also, I was sitting at like 67 subscribers. And as of today, I am sitting at 83. So I wanna thank you guys for that quick boost of subscribers you guys gave me. And uh, I appreciate your guys' support. So basically, if you haven't seen that video, you need to hurry up, click the link down below, Hop on over there and uh, watch the video so you understand the requirements to win that free fish finder there or also be entered to win that lure and all that stuff that I'm giving away there. I'm also going to be linking Loki Angler's channel down below as well as the video he did on that fish finder himself. Um, one day we just got together and we decided to, hey, let's make a review on this fish finder here. 
uh, and just talk about the giveaway on his channel also if you have not followed his channel I work really closely with him so go on over there and support him as well also the drawing for the fish finder and the uh, lures that I'm going to be giving away is going to be held on February 26th of 2022 so if you're watching this video and it's later than that I am sorry guys the giveaway has already been done but if you're watching it and it's before that you still have a chance to enter that uh, giveaway so run on over there real quick make sure you watch that video like I said again and enter for your chance to win the free Garmin uh, striker unit actually I have it sitting right here for you guys this is basically what I'm giving away right here guys totally free this is what was on my kayak before I upgraded to the Garmin striker vivid uh, 7 SV and so I have no use for this no more and that is why I'm giving it away to my supporters uh, as a way of me saying thank you for all the support and uh, you know just helping my channel grow that is why I make these videos for you guys. If there's any other videos that you guys would like to see, I don't know, like lake breakdowns. I watch a whole bunch of different YouTube channels on fishing. Uh, if you guys want to see like lake breakdowns, how to find ponds or lakes or things like that that are kind of hidden using Google Earth, uh, comment down below. I'll be happy to make a video like that. Kind of showing you guys what the process behind the scenes is, for me at least, before I head out to a new lake or trying to find new spots to fish. Obviously me living in the city here in Texas, it's a little bit harder to find those really secluded spots. A lot of the spots here are, tend to be pressured, but we make it work. So if you guys want to see kind of the process that I take, I'm, I know for a fact Loki Angler does this too. So if you guys want to see the process that I use as far as finding a location to fish, kind of seeing the place beforehand and things like that uh feel free to comment down below in this video and just ask hey can you do a video on a lake breakdown or can you do a video on how to use google earth to find new spots whatever you feel like like asking um i know here pretty soon we're heading into pre-spawn i believe and then we're, we should have spawning season coming up but uh next week i have a crazy video that me and loki angler uh shot together it was a perfect video. We had loads of fun, great adventures. So stay tuned for that. So if you're not subscribed, you better subscribe now because next video, we had a blast, guys. We did some absolutely insane, crazy things. And we had a lot of funny events, guys. And you, you will see what I mean by funny events. Um, obviously, you have to watch the video next week for you to see what I'm talking about. So anyways, that's enough of me talking. Thank you guys for supporting my channel again, like I said, and uh, have a great day.